United States Savings Bonds Division presents Guest Star. How do you do, ladies and gentlemen? This is Roger Pryor, your host, for another in the series of transcribed feature programs known as Guest Star. Brought to you at this time each week by United States Savings Bonds and this station as a public service. Plan now for the security of your future. Build yourself a financial reserve. There's no finer, no safer way to do it than through the regular purchase of United States Savings Bonds. Our guest today is Miss Susan Reed, one of the country's leading singers of folk songs, both sweet and blue. Now, ladies and gentlemen, our guest star. In her work in motion pictures, in personal appearances, in recordings and radio, to say nothing of literally hundreds of appearances before the men of our armed forces, she's already had as varied a career as many stars twice her age, for she's just 20 years old. It's a real pleasure to introduce her to you now, Miss Susan Reed. I'd like to sing a song with a little story in it. I'm sure that a great many of our listeners will remember it. It's called The Soldier and the Lady. And which one of these odd instruments of yours will you use as your accompaniment? Uh, this is a zither. Fine. I'll make the announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Susan Reed and her zither presenting The Soldier and the Lady. Soldier, soldier, will you marry me now? Oh, the fife and the drum. How can I marry such a pretty little girl when I have no coat to put on? On when I have no coat to put on. So she ran and she ran to the coat store fast as she could run. And she bought him a coat of the very, very best and the soldier put it on, on and the soldier put it on. Soldier, soldier, will you marry me now? Oh, the fife and the drum. How can I marry such a pretty little girl when I have no shoes to put on, on when I have no shoes to put on? So she ran and she ran to the shoe store, fast as she could run. And she bought him some shoes of the very, very best, and the soldier put them on, on, and the soldier put them on. Soldier, soldier, will you marry me now? Oh, the pipe and the drum. How can I marry such a pretty little girl with a wife and three children at home? Home with a wife and three children at home. Susan, that was grand. But you needn't think you can stop at one song. We just won't let you. Uh, by the way, uh, where do you find all these unusual songs of yours? Oh, almost anywhere. For wherever people live and work and play, you'll find songs that they like to sing. For example, here's a song that I found in the mountains of North Carolina. I sang it on the Burl Ives radio program not so long ago, and I've also used it in a movie. It's a southern blues song with accompaniment on the Irish harp. It's called Turtle Dove. Pretty little turtle dove sitting in the pine Morning for his own true love as I will for mine, for mine, then why not me for mine? Up on the mountain the other day, pretty little flowers grew. Never did I know till the other day what love, oh love, could do, could do, what love, oh love, could do. Now he's gone and left me crying in the rain. Morning for true love who's never gonna come again again who's never gonna come again if i had a lazy man i'd scold him sure as you're born i'd take him off to new orleans and trade him off for corn for corn and trade him off for corn i am a poor country girl money i got none but there's silver in the stars and gold in the morning sun, sun, and gold in the morning sun. Susan, that was wonderful. We've just got to have one more. 
Uh, what instrument will you use this time? I think I'll use my ever loving. Your ever loving. Now, what kind of an instrument is that? <laughs> well, here it is. It's one I found in a little second-hand store. I've showed it to a number of people, and nobody knows what the real name is. So I invented one of my own. <laughs> it's so sweet, I call it the ever loving. Ever loving. Well, well, what are you going to sing? Uh, do you think the folks would like Danny Boy? I'm sure they would. Oh, Danny boy, the pipes, the pipes are calling From glen to glen, all down the mountainside The summer's gone, and all the roses falling Alas, tis you must go, and I must buy but come ye back when summer's on the meadow, or when the valley is hushed and white with snow. Tis I'll be here in sunlight or in shadow. If I be dead, and dead I well may be, you'll come and find the place where I am lying, and all my grave will warmer, sweeter be. But you'll come back when spring is on the or when the valley is cold, you'll come instead. Oh, Danny boy, I will wait forever. wish, Susan Reed, that this was an hour program so we could keep you singing one song after another. Uh, well, you see, I came for the same reason I buy savings bonds, because I think it's for my good and for everybody's good. So I'm glad you let me come. Thank you for listening, everybody. Goodbye, Susan Reed. You've heard another in a series of transcribed programs known as Guest Star, brought to you by this station and United States Savings Bonds as a Public Service. Our special thanks to Miss Susan Reed for a fine performance. There'll be another fine show next week. Until then, this is Roger Pryor reminding you that there's no finer investment than United States Savings Bonds. Buy them through the payroll savings plan where you work, or if you're self-employed, through the bond-a-month plan where you bank. 